Hello everybody, today is Friday, November 10th. It's 4.53 Eastern Standard Time. On my left is the time in sales. We can see some settlement trades for the E-mini S&P going off at 25.78.75. It was a pretty good day for the auto trader. First up is the DAX on the seven tick. So the DAX continues to impress with winning trades. This one has a goal of 1500 and so it hit its goal and we probably had some slippage with our market order when we hit our goal. Okay, next up is a 987 tick BWT hike and ashy bar and we saw this yesterday and again today some impressive looking trades and quite a few of them this would be extremely difficult to do trade back to back and once again uh, stopped out here as I did not change the stop so I'm going to do that right now because I don't want to happen want it to happen again and uh, that way I won't forget so I'm just going to up our stop here to about uh, 15 ticks or so and Let's make it 17 ticks. So pretty impressive trades here on the uh, NASDAQ Hike and Ashy bars. Okay, so I changed it to 17 ticks and now all the trades have H's next to them because I refreshed the chart which is a good example of showing that we show our trades in real time. If the chart is refreshed, then the trade is labeled with an H. Anyway, the trades look very, very similar to uh, what the trades were prior to me refreshing the chart, which is good. But you can also see we didn't get stopped out on this long trade here, and that caused us to go probably all the way to our goal of 2,000. Okay, next up is the E-mini S&P on a three-range chart. This did 975 for the day on two contracts, and it looks like uh, four winning trades in a row. Uh, pretty good performance here. This is using our line break algorithm. This did about 300 yesterday, but there were so many charts, I didn't bother to show it. Okay, the E-mini S&P on a 2,500 tick hike and ashy bar, BWT hike and ashy had three winners in a row and did 1,050 and that is our goal is 1,000 so we had uh, two ticks of positive slippage and pretty excellent performance now I've been plotting this chart but I did not have auto trading turned on in this box and it didn't trade the last few days but I just noticed it yesterday the E-mini S&P on a 987 tick chart with our line break logic did rather well today, 650. Okay, we had a modest gain on the NASDAQ Superenco 10 tick of 255. The Dow on a Superenco 20 tick did 320. This also did a few hundred dollars yesterday, but I didn't show it. Uh, for such a large time frame, it's been cranking out small gains. So, not sure if I'm going to continue following this chart. Okay, last but not least, I forgot to show this earlier, is the gold on the Superenco 6 tick. This had a couple of losers to start with and drew us down about $500. And then we had this stellar short trade here. And that brought us up, followed by a couple of smaller winners and closed at 870 for the day. Really solid performance on the gold. This has been pretty consistent lately. That's all for today's video. If you'd like to find out more, please visit our website. Thanks for watching today.